school shooting thing, and that school shooting thing, in my opinion, was a, a black government operation. The guy was a mind control assassin, and uh, this <coughs> DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, has a a, a super secret lab in a, in a mountain in Blacksburg. This was written about in Kathy O'Brien's book three years ago called Access Denied for Reasons of National Security. If anybody wants to read about it, please go to the home page of my website, which is thelightofdayradioshow.com, thelightofdayradioshow.com. And it's posted right up there towards the top. <coughs> there's, there's just so much going on, it's just overwhelming. Pretty incredible, folks. I'm going to be joined by Sherry Schreiner at the top of the next hour. Uh, she gets into a lot of topics that I do, but she uh, puts a religious slant on things. Um. Anyway, we're going to talk to her and get her viewpoints on things going on in the world today. May have enough time here for UFO Bob. Uh, oh, I wanted to mention something else. I'm trying to think of what it is here. Oh, my website. Um, I'm becoming my own webmaster now. I'm gradually learning how to <coughs> make amendments to my website. But I hereby make a call that if anybody has advanced technical expertise on webmastering, web mastering the please shoot me shoot me an email because there's some things I need done to my website that I, I just don't have sufficient knowledge on yet so I greatly appreciate it and if anybody in listening audience would like to volunteer as an expert uh, webmaster to please shoot me an email at Sheldon Sheldon at MSN dot com that Sheldon Sheldon at MSN dot com I got a cold or something tonight. Um, really didn't want to do the show tonight, but my f friend up in Phoenix, Kevin Smith, says you got to keep doing the show every week, regardless of what what's happening. So, hook or crook, we're gonna get the show done tonight. I uh, caught a cold. I don't know where I got it from. It could be from the chemtrail spraying, for all I know. I did want to also mention a, <coughs> a very tr dear friend of mine who lives out in Benson, Arizona. I didn't get enough time last week to um, talk about my friend out there. I am looking for the article right now. I have to read this off my computer because of the ink in my printer did not allow me to print anything out before my show tonight and I've been too sick to go to the store to even consider getting ink for the printer I am trying to find the article but for some reason I am not finding it right now Oh, this stuff happens at the worst time. Trails in. This is from a friend. The article or email I'm going to read is from a friend of mine that lives out in Sun Sites. His, his name is Russ. I don't know if you're out there listening or not, Russ, but I'm going to read this uh, newspaper article about my friend's, our friend's feed store burning down in Benson. He was a true, uh, true seeker. He got the word out about Oh, the chemtrail spraying and everything the New World Order is up to in that. Well, I guess I'm not going to be able to read the article because... Oh, boy.
because when you click on the BensonNews-Sun.com, it actually bring, brings up uh, today's headlines. So might as well forget that. But anyway, I have a friend out in Benson. His feed store burned down to the ground about, oh, I think it was about a week and a half ago. It was on a Sunday. My friend out there, Ed, his name is Ed Fenn. He had a feed store. and It went up in flames Sunday morning about 4 o'clock. There was a break-in at the 4.20 in the morning at the other end of, of the town at a Radio Shack store. The fire may have been a diversion. It was a total loss. My uh, heartfelt sympathies go out to my friend out there in Benson, Arizona. He was a man that he was a good man. Um, I'm sorry, he is a good man. He, he he's, he's still alive. But he got the word out about things, and it's a shame, really a shame what had to happen to him. He, he didn't bother anybody. <clears throat> We're going to go on the fringe now with UFO Bob. I'm going to have to call Bob here. Bring Bob on the line. Going to be going on the fringe here with UFO Bob in just a minute. Hello. Hello, Bob. Welcome to the Light of Day show. You're on the air. Oh, I'm on the air. Yeah, welcome aboard. Okay. Um, now, let's see. Did you have your guest on to uh, this evening yet? No, she's going to be coming on in about, oh, about 15 minutes from now. 15 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Um, now, she's, um, I like to hear her. I know I, you're going to um, uh, have the uh, her talk being broadcast into my phone, um, like we were talking about. Yeah, um, I, I could do that, yeah. Okay. Um, I, um, understand that she's, um, has a, more or less, uh, uh, bad opinion of the, um, uh, uh, extraterrestrials coming down here that they aren't really the nice guys that I think they are, and I would just like to compare my, uh, survey of this thing and my experiences with them that, uh, I, uh, give you an alternative view, uh, but yet I'd like to hear her, but she's got some pretty interesting things to talk about, so I'd just a bit like to hear her for, for, for a while. Now, this is one of the things that um, I will um, read for you right now. Um, it's um, many of the... Now, this, this is from... I'd like to hear I don't know, A guy who was on um, Art Bell show, um, I, I'm sorry, Coast to Coast uh, not last night. His name is uh, Michael Sala, researcher about the subject. And um, many benevolent extraterrestrial visitors are here on our planet from uh, planets like Clarion. Clarion happens to be another planet that we don't hear much about. It's on the opposite side of our sun. We never get to see it. And they do visit this place. I could go, if I had more time, more description of what they look like. They look uh, very much like us. They're a shorter race of people, though. Uh, very uh, good-looking people. And a guy by the name of, uh, I think, Truman Bethram wrote a book on it. And anyway, these um, uh, some of these visitors that are down here, and these, these are good, benevolent people. Uh, aliens or extraterrestrials uh, and then there's the Ella Barons uh, to help many out uh, here um, transition to um, fourth density this is what these extraterrestrials want to do they want to get us into another reality it's, it's a different kind of a reality that we're living in right now it, it would have to do with we'd be put aside all warfare, uh, we would not have disease anymore, and many things that we would like to see, but we don't have right now, and an extension of our uh, length of our lifespan, which would really come in handy, you know, 80 years isn't 
don't give us much time to really accomplish anything because most of our time is taken up by a lot of 